Hello fellow equestrians and welcome to part two of my horse's surgery vlog. As I said in the last video, I just, I filmed so much that if I made it all in one video it'd be extremely long. So this is part two. If you haven't seen the part one, I will link that in this corner. Go check that out otherwise you will be thoroughly confused on what is happening. So go watch that first and then click back on this video. But if you have already seen part one, then you are set and keep watching as this is going to be very interesting. At least I thought it was interesting. So thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get into it.
got out of surgery and he is laying in a big padded room so he's just gonna kind of slowly wake up from anesthesia and hopefully not freak out or do anything crazy and yeah so we're gonna go grab some food while he's waking up and yeah so I'll keep you all updated the surgery went well um, the surgeon said that they got it out with almost no problems and the tissue around it looked fairly decent and uh, not disturbed too much by the chip so yeah that's all I know as of right now uh, as soon as we finish eating I'm gonna go back and he should be awake and I'll know more then so see you guys soon Hi, bud. You look like a wreck. You're not. I can promise. You're not. Is he sweaty or what? No, it's just they cleaned him? water from the stuff. Your little leg bandaged up. Got your IV. Just like one random wet spot on his side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's looking kind of rough. <laughs> Hi. Oh yeah, you like me more. You like me more, don't you? See you Thursday, okay? Don't give them any trouble. Bye, Owen. Why is my face so red? It's freezing outside, but I didn't think it was that cold. Okay. So anyways, guys, his surgery went really well. He woke up very nicely and slowly and didn't cause any problems. They're gonna keep monitoring him and he has an IV for all of his drugs and everything. But I am headed home now and it's about a two hour drive. So I'm headed home and they said, hopefully I'll be able to come back and bring him home 
on Thursday they're gonna call me in the morning and let me know how things are going and if everything goes well in the next 24 hours then I'll be able to bring him home on Thursday so that's exciting I'm glad it all went very well and I got to keep his the actual bone chip which I showed you guys early in this video which is really cool I named it Owen jr. so yeah that's pretty much it the rest of this video is just going to be updating you guys on how his recovery is doing and when I go to pick him up they'll tell me more about his recovery and how long it's gonna take and all the stuff I'm gonna have to do so yeah um, keep watching and I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning and let you know what they call me and tell me so see you tomorrow okay so actually I'm going to have to make this vlog three parts because there were some extra stuff that ended up happening, some complications, so I ended up vlogging even more than I had planned in the first place. So this is actually going to be three parts, so I should be posting part three as soon as I possibly can. So watch part three as soon as it comes up if you want to see how everything went and what the surgeon said recovery is going to look like and I also vlogged me bringing him home and uh, also vlogged some of his complications so watch the next vlog if you are interested in figuring out what that's all about so thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you on part three bye